Imagine you have only 8 years of annual extreme discharge and you wish to know about even extremer events that have not yet occurred. Say the extreme with a return period of 100 years. This is possible when the Gumbel extreme value analysis applies. Let us look at the data. We have ordered the annual extremes in descending order. Now we can draw up probability of exceedance P according to the plotting position which is I over n plus 1, where I is the order number and n the total number of observations. For the first year, this would be 1 over 9 equals 0 0.11. And the second year, 2 over 9, which is 0 0.222. The third year, the fourth year, the fifth year, etc. etc. From this follows return period t which is 1 over p for the first year this would be 9 second year 4 and a half 3 2.25 1.8 1.5 and the last and the probability of subsidence which is q equals 1 minus P for the first year, the second year, third year, fourth, fifth, and the last one. If you would simply make a frequency plot of, for example, Q against the extreme, we would see an S-curve. As we can see, it is hard to estimate an extreme with, for example, T is 100 years. T is 100 P is 1 over 100 and Q is 0 0.99. Q would be there and now what would be the extreme with this probability of subsidence. Therefore, Gumbel introduced the reduced variate y is minus ln y is minus ln minus ln q we can complete the table with the values for y and plotting this Results plotting y against the extreme would result in a straight line.
which makes it easier to extrapolate to rare events. Note that in that effect, Gumbel applied the transformation of the horizontal x of the horizontal axis. Now, for the extreme of t is 100, p is 1 over 100, q is 0 0.99, and y would be minus ln minus ln 0 0.99 which is 4.6. In the Gumba plot, four point six is there. We can estimate from the line the extreme with the return period of 100 years, which is approximately 1150 cubic meters per second.